Uh, next question. Do you think most bloggers give honest reviews when sent products for free by brands or do they feel some pressure, mm. internal or external, to rate the product favorably? This is a really important yeah. question. Yeah. And I think this question applies to just like the beauty community and a broader mm -hmm. influencer community than just nail bloggers. Um, I like to think that most people are generally honest, uh, but of course there's going to be people who aren't and are pressured maybe by the brand or are not making the, the best judgment calls because they want a continued relationship that is favorable with the brand. Yeah, and I, I don't know if honesty is the right word to use because it's just like if you're on a brand's PR list and you generally like that brand and want to keep receiving their products and maybe you want a relationship with them, yeah, there is going to be some bias in that mm -hmm. even if you don't love something, maybe you won't be more critical than you would if you just didn't have any relationship with them, right? Yeah, and yeah. there's definitely been times where I was blogging and a company had sent me polish that I was not shy of voicing my opinion of the polish. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd say like, I just think it's ugly, you know? Yeah. And I mean, I was <laughs> also, like yeah, they didn't like that. <laughs> um, but who was I working for, I guess, was the question I asked myself. And personally, I just wanted to, I wanted to entertain eventually once I got on YouTube. But my mm -hmm. blog, I all, like there is some comedic lines in my blog too. Like I also saw it as just a funny writing outlet. Um, I wanted it to have a little bit of personality, so I wasn't trying to take it like too seriously. And occasionally, I did like make a joke about how a nail polish I didn't like, you know. Yeah. Um, and that doesn't mean that I hate the company in their entirety. No, but yeah, you weren't just giving favorable reviews to. Yeah, everything. I was not. I was the opposite. <laughs> and I should say, like, maybe advice to people out there, like, if it is tempting to just give positive reviews to everything, just to have brands like you. It's important to remember that at the end of the day, as an internet presence, your your reputation is kind of everything, right? And if you get the reputation of someone who is misleading your audience into thinking a product is good when yeah. it isn't, that that is not worth you maintaining good relationships with brands. Yeah, absolutely. I think credibility is really important mm -hmm. to me. And that's something that I, I don't do. And I learned over the years how to do it better, how to make sure that I wasn't being biased just because I wanted a brand to like me. Mm -hmm. um, I always think about my audience first and what is best for them and what message I think I, I want to share with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs>